Hey guys, Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. Today we're in Napa Valley checking out the Old Faithful Geyser of California. California's Old Faithful Geyser is located in the northern part of Napa Valley and is an incredibly popular tourist attraction in the area. Who is excited about seeing a geyser today? The area is privately owned, so you do have to pay a fee to enter. Be sure to check the hours before you go, and when we went, it was around $15 to enter. They said it's gonna be about an hour before the geyser goes off, so hopefully the babies last that long. The geyser here is one of only a few faithful geysers in the world, meaning that just like a clock, they generally know when the geyser is gonna go off. It can change based on precipitation, so be sure to ask the person before you pay if you don't have the time to wait. So that's what we're waiting for right there, that geyser to go off. The good thing is that while you're waiting, there's actually a lot of fun things to do, especially if you're there with your family. First, there's a small one-room geology museum, which has all sorts of information on earthquakes, volcanoes, geysers, and other geothermal and natural wonders. Outside of the small museum, you'll find exhibits on the area's history and the history of the geyser itself. One of the exhibits even talks about how the water from the geyser was used to heat hotels and homes back in the early 1900s. There's also an area with cornhole and bocce ball, but for us, the most exciting thing was the goats. You could spend a dollar in the shop and get some goat food that you could hand feed them while you're waiting for the geyser. You guys see? I'm gonna give him some food, okay? Oh, it's so nice. Go. Oh, Emma, <laughs> this goat's name is Zeus. Zeus, the wise goat. There's a guard llama here. Apparently llamas are great guards for livestock animals like goats because they'll protect them from coyotes and dogs and things of that nature. <laughs> so much fun feeding the goats, but uh, now we gotta wait for hopefully another 15-20 minutes and the geyser will go off. After hanging out with the goats, we just walked around and explored a little bit more while we were waiting. You can also get some great views of Mount St. Helena from here as well. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of people. It's actually a pretty fun spot to wait, so don't be afraid if there's a long wait because there's a lot to do here. After about an hour of waiting, the geyser finally started its show. It takes about a minute or so to get going, but once it does, it seems to shoot about 40 to 50 feet in the air. What's cool about the experience is that it's actually pretty long. I'd say we get to sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes and just watch the geyser go off. That much time makes it nice as you can walk around and get different angles and just soak it all in. I got someone trying to steal the phone right here. You're trying to steal the spotlight? Oh, you want to eat it. Okay. Eventually the geyser begins to die down, people pack up their stuff to leave, and the next group comes in to begin to wait for the next eruption. Overall, it's a really fun experience to have in the Napa Valley. Thanks so much for going on this California adventure with us. That was a lot of fun. You guys should definitely come check it out. It's easy to wait. There's a lot to do. That's it for this video. We'll see you on the next one.